the first building I went to was the Candelama Hotel. And as I walked towards that room, I had been there before. I knew the volume of the space. I knew the volume of the black stone, uh, the reflection. I knew the light. I knew if I turned a corner, that would be a large open space. I knew the building before I had been there. So I thought, am I just sort of, you know, hallucinating? And, but it stayed with me, that feeling of familiarity, like I had been there before. And so much, many, many days later, I was telling Channa about this. And somewhere in the conversation, we realized my favorite building in India is Padmanabhapuram Palace in Kerala. And that's also been a building that Baba has appreciated very much. And I guess that's a scale, a quality of light, a quality of reflection that I carry in me. And I guess when I saw it at Candelama, I just recognized it. So I felt I knew Baba. And it was like revisiting an old friend, but of course I never knew him. There's a transcendental quality to, to his work, or at least I experience it like that, no? And if I could dare to use the word spiritual, Candelama for me is the pilgrimage. And I wanted, I couldn't photograph that. I couldn't photograph the quality of my experience at Candelama. And then this magical thing happened at press. I went to Hyderabad for the printing of the box because of course I have to be there for the printing of these boxes. And I'm so glad I was there because I saw, I saw the sheets come out before they went in again. I mean, I saw them in, in, at a, in between stage and I said, stop, stop, this is what I want. And they said, but it's not complete. And I said, no, this is exactly what I want. Stop, stop, stop. You know, that ephemeral quality of, is it there? Is it not? Is it a spirit of a photograph? It didn't, it's not a photograph. Suddenly it, it was like a rubbing of a photograph or a graphite, bearing down of Bhava. To me, it's deeply, deeply moving. And it's what I look to art for, but I don't often find in art. And I find it more in music or in a certain kind of architecture. And so I feel it a little bit in Japan and I felt it in some buildings, but in Bava, I feel it the most. And especially in Candelama, this pairing down to the essential and to letting, letting a space, letting an image be and find its own tonality, its own rhythm, its own existence, not being, you know, I'm Dayanita Singh photographing Jeffrey Bhava. It's not about that at all. It's really like a, like a caress and could, which is what I feel when I go to Candelama. But then I thought, okay, maybe I just want to do a structure where I can have portraits of chairs from Lunu Ganga. Because now I have such a huge archive of Baba that there's a little book that I was doing which title called Chairs and that'll still come out at some point. But I could have done Baba Chairs from Lunuganga and I could have done Baba Chairs from somewhere else and, you know, Baba Pillars and I don't want to become a, you know, Baba Scholar. Because you see, we are two artists and so I can't, I have to meet him at an equal level. I can't just make a standard black and white print and gift it uh, for the gift project. And so then came this other transformation, as Channa very rightly said, of the image, and where I just took this domestic paint and rolled it onto the photograph, something I had been trying for, for a while. And again, it's this special in-between thing that happens when you put the paint on the image, where like an architectural relief, model. If you look at the photos from the side, you will see they may be slightly raised in certain areas. So it's not a flat print anymore. It becomes just a little three-dimensional. And because of the color, it has this feeling like it's, it's not dust, but it's, 
it's a certain patina that I thought would also work well at Lunuganga and make it and pare down the image, you know, get rid of all the contrast and the black and the white and just leave it in the realm of the mid-tones, which is what happens not in a stark photograph of Baba's buildings, the black floor and the white wall, but it happens in the reflection that comes from the black floor to the white wall. I feel that he made the buildings for a photographer to experience what photography is about, you know, to really create a house of light or a house for light. So I think the gift project creatively and not technically, but in the sort of logistics of it opens a very important direction for Biennales and artists to think about 